Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside this video, I want to show you a quick trick with the backslash key, that before after key inside Lightroom, that you might not actually know about. Let's get into it. Alright, so if you've been using Lightroom for any amount of time, you probably know about the backslash key on your keyboard. By clicking that key, you can easily see before you edited your photo and after, which is a certified way to check whether your photo has actually improved since you started editing or you now have a hot mess. Alright, so now that we've established that, did you know that if you hit the Y key instead of the backslash key on your keyboard, it pulls up a different before after view? Okay, doing that is kind of neat. We can see the photo beside each other without having to alternate between the two. Going down here where it says Y and Y on these two little page icons, we can actually alternate our views for the before and after. Again, this could be helpful just to be able to see it in a different setting. But did you know, you might have already heard of these ones, but if you go over to our history panel inside of Lightroom, that's over here on the left, below navigator, presets, snapshots, you have history. And if we go in here, we can see before and after we made any changes to the photo at all. So we can go back from the very first edit we made all the way through to the different settings that I had along the way while I was figuring things out, testing, and seeing which kind of preset, what settings I liked the best. This is very handy. Now, you might already know about the history panel, but did you know you can tie it into the backslash key on your keyboard? So let's say that I actually want to see before and after with one specific setting in this history. I don't want to go back all the way before any changes. I just want to see if I actually like my changes more since, say, this step instead of this step. Okay? So what I'm going to do is actually go down to this step and right click in the history panel. We're going to select copy history settings to before. And now when we hit that backslash key, we're actually going to alternate between those two steps. Instead of going all the way back to the beginning, we can just preview and decide quickly and easily which we like best. The same will work if we go and press the Y button, the Y key on our keyboard, or this little Y setting here. You can see before and after that specific step. Once you want to undo what you've done and just go back to seeing the previous you know, imported photo, we just go back here to where it says import and go copy history step settings to before. And now we can see the raw version once again. So that's the before after key inside of Lightroom. I get so many comments on it, I figured I would do a quick video. If it was helpful for you, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more great videos and leave me a comment. Are there features that I missed or different tricks that you know about that I should know about too? I would appreciate it. Leave me a comment, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,